Are you missing out on the most powerful feature that motion control has to offer? Well, if you think motion control is all about getting crazy dynamic shots, then you probably are. I'm Matt Chauncey, and welcome to another episode of Sisu Sessions, where we talk everything MoCo, film, and growing your business. We all love motion control for its ability to get these mind-blowing dynamic shots uh, that would otherwise be impossible. We see these shots in music videos, TV commercials, and even on the red carpet. This is when motion control is really showing off. You can easily spot these shots and instantly recognize that they're achieved with a motion control system. You know, I'm often surprised when I talk to people and even some of our customers uh, who think that this is the only reason why you need a motion control system. And if that's what you think, then I'm here to open up a whole new world of possibilities by revealing to you what the most powerful feature is of motion control, and that is the ability to edit in layers. Now, I can hear that maybe some of you are like scratching your heads a little bit, so let me just show you a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about when I say editing in layers. Here we see a simple parallax shot of this camera body. It's not very dynamic and you could easily get this shot on a dolly or a slider. But now we're gonna do the shot again, but we're gonna add a piece to the camera. This is where the robot becomes necessary because to get our final shot, every layer must be precise. Now we're gonna add another piece to the camera and now another and so on. Now that we have all of our shots, we're gonna edit them together to show a total camera buildup. Pretty cool, right? Now, sometimes it can take a while for it to sink in just how powerful this technique is, but the more you think about it, the more you're gonna start realizing how amazing it is to be able to edit in layers. And this is just a small example. This shot was super simple to edit together. Uh, because we used a MoCo system, we didn't have to use any tracking, any rotoscoping, uh, green screen, anything like that. We simply used a garbage mask tool and simply cut out the pieces that we wanted to layer together. That's how we did the camera build up. This shot may have taken 15 minutes to cut together. It's super simple. In fact, this is how most feature films use motion control. Anytime you see a superhero break through a concrete wall to make a dramatic entrance, they use motion control to do that. In fact, I was on set where we did that exact thing. And what we did is we just shot it in layers. So we did one layer where we just shot the scene, a clean plate. Then we did another layer with our hero talent jumping through a doorway. And then we did another shot with a practical effects pass where we loaded up an air cannon full of fake concrete and debris, lined up the shot and shot all that stuff out. That helps kind of sell the shot. We did that and then we did another pass with background talent uh, who are reacting to our hero breaking through the wall. All of these done in separate layers. And when you put them all together, the end shot looks amazing. And not only does it look amazing, it doesn't look like a typical motion control shot. You can't instantly recognize it as a motion control shot. The move itself is pretty simple. It's what we did with those layers and how we edited it together. That's where the magic happens. Well, I hope for some of you that this has been an enlightening episode of Sisu Sessions, and I hope that it gets all of you excited about the possibility of what you can do when you edit in layers, because there's literally, the, the possibilities are endless. It doesn't just have to be a camera buildup or a VFX shot. You can also do it with light. You can do it with people. You can do it with anything. So let your imagination run wild, because that's where the real power of motion control lies. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in and watching. Uh, like always, if you have any questions or comments, you know, send them my way. My information is at the end of this video. And if we feature your topic uh, on one of these episodes, I'll be sure to send you one of these cool Sisu Cinema Robotics t-shirts. All right, guys, thanks again. And uh, until next time, happy shooting.